We're just gonna sit straight up in our chairs, probably feet on the floor, and I'll do all the work. All you have to do is like follow my, follow my cues, and we're really just gonna, we're gonna think about where we are currently, what our current reality is. We're gonna think about our future reality in the second set of that. And we're just gonna, just follow my voice. It's gonna be a simple visualization exercise. So simply close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, and then out through your mouth, and just let out kind of an ah. So in through your nose. Ah. Let me hear you. In. Ah. Just do that a couple more times. In and just let out a sigh. Ah. There you go. And so I want you to think about your current reality, what you're struggling with when you came into this room today. All of us have struggles, that's, that's not unique. We all struggle in some area of our life, no matter how we've evolved, no matter how much work we've done, there's still more work to do. Whether that's just self-acceptance, self-love, change in vocation, change in relationship, we all have stuff that we can work on. But let's think about where we're at today currently. We wrote that out on our sheets. We went over that a couple times. What's our current reality? We're really gonna think about what happens if we don't change that reality. If we walk out of these doors tonight, we get up in the morning and we don't do anything different than we've been doing. That feeling that we have an issue with is still gonna be there if we don't start to make progress. So if we don't make the change and we stay exactly as we are, what does that feel like in a year from now? Just lean into that feeling. The disappointment, the confusion, the frustration. We do that for the next 12 months. Does that feel lighter or does it feel heavier? Do you feel more empowered or less empowered? What does that feel like in your body to stay as you are without making any changes for the next 12 months? It's almost unbearable, right? Stick with me on this. Now let's push that same thing forward, but let's go five years into the future. Look at how not making these changes impacts your relationships, your health, your finances. Drag that with you. Drag the feeling that you've been experiencing in your reality. Let's drag that five years into the future. Just imagine looking at yourself in the mirror What does that feel like? And now let's drag that 10 years into the future. The indecision, the self-doubt, the lack of effort. How does that feel in the body? Does that feel in your mind? Is that light or is that really heavy? Knowing that you had the opportunity to make change, but you just failed to do it. Now I want you to add another 10 years. So 20 years from this day today, how old will you be? Say that name in your mind. Just say that name in your mind. How old will you be? didn't make the changes that you knew you should have, we didn't make those changes today, or we gave up too easily, we didn't stay the course, as you've heard many speakers say today, if we didn't stay the course, if we didn't put in the effort, if we didn't try, 20 years from now, when you're at that age, 
How does that feel? Kind of feels like a wasted life, doesn't it? Think of the people that you could have helped. Think of the people that you could have inspired. Think of the relationships that you could have had but didn't because you failed to take action. So 20 years from now, what's that sound like? What's the sound in 20 years from now if we don't make the changes we know we need to make? So we need to get real with what we're doing in our lives to see what, where we head. Because too often we're unconscious or we're just procrastinating about change because we don't see the true effects or the true outcome. But you can look back and see how your life's been impacted for however long you've been carrying this. When you didn't take action, what that experience is, now drag that forward 20 years. How heavy does that feel? What level of illness does that create in the body? What levels of addiction, avoidance, self-denial. And finally, on your deathbed, many years from now, when you look back, what would you say about your life? Would you say it was a life well lived, or would you say you squandered the opportunities that you had? You say, man, I wish I coulda, I wish I shoulda. See, I've heard this many, many times that people on their deathbed don't regret the things they did, no matter how big the mistakes they made were. The, no matter how big the mistake, they didn't have that as a regret. They regretted the things that they failed to do. Now I want you to come back from that. I want you to come back to the 20 year mark, the 10 year mark, the five year mark, the one year mark, and come back into this room today. The 15th of October, 2021. You heard Richard say it earlier, at any point you can make a decision that vastly changes the direction and the richness of your life. So now let's look at if we do make those changes, if we take those baby steps, if we keep moving forward each day for the next 12 months in the areas that we are important to us, what does that feel like in just 12 months? What changes can you foresee in 12 months by just taking small incremental steps? Does that feel heavy like before, or does that feel lighter? Is there resistance like before, or is there less resistance? Now let's step into year five. Five years from now, making the decisions and changes that you made today. What does that life look like? More abundance, more happiness, more joy, more energy, more vibrance, greater impact in not only your life, but the lives of others. How does that feel? In five short years, your life can look completely different than it does today. Now let's go 10 years into the future. What age will you be? And now imagine all those changes that you've made along the way. Not only the ones that you made on that day back in October, but all the little steps you took along the way after those steps, because with each step comes the next step. And with accomplishing those steps comes confidence. Think about the joy, the love, the gratitude, the connection, 
that making those small incremental changes, what will that feel like in the future? 20 years from now, what age will you be? Now look at the richness of your life. Look at the experiences that you've had. Look at the things that you're still looking forward to. Feel that lightness in your body. Feel that lightness in your soul. Feel that love that just radiates from you each and every day. Now let's go to that final breath. Let's go to that final moment on this earth. Let's take ourselves there right now in our mind's eye. With that final breath, knowing that the changes that you made, the changes that you needed to make all along, these new things integrated, expanded, grew, touched, empowered, that last breath, with those last thoughts on this plane, feel the life that was well lived. Feel all the grace and the joy and the richness and the relationships. So much that it's not even describable. Just the feelings washing over you to know that you left nothing undone. left it all on the court. You played full out. And sure, you made mistakes along the way, but you made up for those. You apologized. You moved forward. You loved full out. You loved fully. You forgave fully. You enjoyed fully. So which do you choose? Do you choose the life of regret? You choose the life of love. But isn't that what we all want? To love and be loved. To experience joy and gratitude. To connect. To squeeze every last drop of joy and happiness out of this life. Now you get to choose. What will you do? What choice will you make? Take a deep breath in. Feel that and then just let it out. Feel any last feelings in the body. In just a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and exit the room. Just go to the bathroom, walk outside. Just stay to yourself, though. Just don't feel the need to share or converse or even engage with anyone. Just stay with your thoughts. Stay with the feeling. Just hold it inside you so that we can fully integrate it into your experience. One more deep breath. And just relax that out. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes, walk out of the room, your stuff will be fine. We're gonna reset the room and go into the final process.